Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. Now, a ball attached to a string is made to rotate with a constant speed along the horizontal circle. The string is attached to the ceiling and makes an angle theta degree with the vertical. The tangent in the string is given as T. Well, this is the correct way of showing the tension because tension has two directions and the, uh, the string is like this. So in IB books, like majorly, I have seen that this direction is not shown, but you can show these two directions. So this is the T and this will be the weight W. Okay. Uh, what is correct about the horizontal component and the vertical component of the net force on the ball? So my dear students, they are talking about the net force first of all. So this is the weight. In these kind of cases, the net force is the resultant of these two forces because there is no third force which is acting on this. So clearly the resultant of this will be given by this, which will provide the essential centripetal force to the ball to move in a circular motion. So this is this uh, net force, uh, but we want to find the component of this, like what is the horizontal component and the vertical component. Obviously vertical is going to be zero clearly. Uh, but I have to show you like what is happening here. So let us not write that this is the uh, the final force here. Let us create the component of T first of all. One will be this, another will be this. This is theta, so this will be the theta. These are alternate interior angles. So that is why both of these angles will be equal to each other. Clearly this T can be divided into the two components as this. T cos theta and T sin theta. And this is weight W. So what happens is that T cos theta is equal to W. You see, while the ball is moving in the horizontal circle, do you think that the ball is going up? No. Do you think that the ball is actually going downwards? No. Towards the ground? No, not at all. But weight is acting on it. So why is it not going downwards? Because there is a counter upward force. These two forces are canceling each other. So these two forces cancel each other. So there is no net vertical force. We are only concerned with the total force, the net force. So this is going to be T sine theta. So D will be the correct option because vertically the net force will be zero and in horizontal manner, it will be T sine theta. So this is how we do this. So this question is quite basic and there have been so many videos that I've already uploaded on YouTube. You people can uh, go to the playlist and see all of the questions uh, of the similar type. So you would be going into details there. You would be able to understand each and everything. With this, this is Professor Varun. All the best. Thanks for joining.